We're going down. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to... Hello, everybody, and welcome to Drew in the Moment. We are here live at Universal Studios. <laughs> want to welcome everybody in. Uh, any of our new friends coming in, we hope you have a great time with us here today. Also, all of our friends watching on the replay, you are here in spirit. We know that because we can feel you. you. We're at uni, man. We're at uni. So I want to thank everybody for taking the time out of their morning to come hang out with us here at Universal Studios Orlando. Oh, look at it. It is a gorgeous day. It's going to reach probably mid-80s today. Right now, I think it's like, what, 65, 70, something like that. Welcome in, Jack Sandy Claus. What's going on? Hello, Amy Jo Johnson, Johnny Neverland, James Wilkerson. What's up, buddy? Thank you for being a member, on, for a Drew Crew member for 35 months, dude. Wow. Thank you so much. And happy Tie Dye Sunday. 402 Ventures. What's going on? We got Strong Tom, Keith Abbott, Dizwu. Oh, I hope you guys are ready to have some fun here at Universal, because I know I'm ready. I am so ready. So ready. Queen's just walking. Look at her walk. Yes, the, uh, the Hollywood Drive-In Golf Course. It's so awesome. Super fun. We're going to have to do that one of these times for a video or something. But, man, so happy to be here. Let me put this around. So we can say hi to everybody. Good morning. I know it's tie dye Sunday. We're here at Universal. It's, oh yeah, look at Queen's Universal shirt. Race through New York. Yeah, and I'm wearing my only tie dye, you know, Universal esque shirt that I own. I'm rocking my Nickelodeon shirt here with uh, one of the best cartoons right here. Ah, uh, real monsters. But guys, I hope you're ready to have some fun. If you are new to the channel, let us know you're new. We want to welcome you in. We want you to feel like family. We want you to laugh with us, joke with us. Just have a darn good time. That's what we're all about here on the channel. Just having a good time. So kick back, relax and let us do the heavy walking. All the walking for you guys. You guys can just sit there, relax, and we're gonna take you around Universal Studios and just have some fun. <gasps> Shirley Brewer, the J, Stephanie Kramer, Joe Ellen Goulet, hello, Scop Cindy, hey! What's going on? Oh my goodness, Tim Plummer, thank you so much. I suggest pan, uh, Panda China Orange Chicken uh, for lunch, right on. Well, th Ooh, Tim, thank you so much, dude. It all sounds good. I think forever since I've been a panda. Uh, panda Express. Panda Express. Yeah. I think, or, or something like that. I think it's in the second floor. Somewhere. Thank you. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate that. Carmen Gloria, welcome in. Apparently, I also see. Oh, I love her. Oh, hold on. Oh, that's what it is. See, the volume was still on. I'm sorry. Yeah, the phone, my the streaming phone volume. Thank you for letting me know. I thought I turned it off. I apologize if it sounded all messed up. Um, Mama Coco, thank you for being a member for 15 months. So awesome. Thank you so much for your support, guys. Thank you for letting us know, guys. Yes. And hold on, I want to see, let's see about, oh, sorry. I just want to make sure this camera is good. Boop. All right, there we go. That's the camera I want. Now we're good. Now we're good. Old Mr. Young dude, what's up, man? Uh, oh, I want that sign. Oh, that's a really cool sign. 
Uh, okay. Uh, Stormy Animal Kingdom vlog. Where'd you get the shirt you had on? I find Disney Park shirts don't fit me right. What shirt was I wearing in that? On the, let me check. The, right you know, hold on. I, I, I actually forget which one I was. Uh, oh, it was one in your hunting mansion. <clears throat> oh, no, no, no. It's the... Uh, um, Oh, it's the uh, yes, what the uh, that is a, a Roosevelt. It's a Roosevelt shirt. You can get it from Roosevelt. I don't know. They say they go on the website. Eh? Yeah, you know, go to the website. I just don't know if they have that particular one anymore because I know they switch it up all the time. Uh, yeah, so I think they'll have a print, but maybe they have it. Very, very comfortable though. I will say those Roosevelts. That's the only one I own, but it is very nice, and it's like. Kind of like a Tommy Bahama in a way, but a lot cheaper. <laughs> it, it really is a lot cheaper. Oh, I'll get the hammer. Yeah, it's just... So excited. <laughs> Universal. What? What? I love Universal. I do. <laughs> I want to send it on. Uh. And if we have time, and there's not a huge line after uh, we go hang out in Universal. We might have to come over and get a voodoo donut. And we're going to have to get my favorite. I love voodoo donuts. Show them now, you want, all right, let's go show them right now. That's true. Disney fans, hello, good morning. You got, you got to wake up. You got to wake up with energy. Oh, yeah. But if you've never been in Voodoo Donuts, I do recommend it. Uh, great donuts. I enjoy them. And I'm going to show you my favorite of all time. It's right here. I always try to make people get it. The Great Babe. It's like sour and sweet together. It's a great combo. Sweet and sour. Sweet and sour. Yeah, like the air for air. Air month. Oh, yeah, yeah. Earth month. Because it is Earth month. They got a sprinkle down there. And oh, then which maple. The they, oh, oh the, the Texas? Oh, no. Uh, no, right over here. Somebody had suggested this. I'd never even heard of it. The Memphis Mafia. That thing is insanely good. They got some vegan. Some oh, vegan. and they got some vegan, vegan options vegan. for you. But I'll tell you, they're delicious donuts. They really are. That grape ape, man, it goes hard. Shannon D for Disney, thank you so much. Oh, I, you know what? We, we really appreciate that compliment. Um, we, and I don't say this for, for applause or anything because it's our decision to have a channel, but we do work very hard on this channel. And the reason why we do is because we love this channel. Like, it, it is uh, a very important part. It has become a very important part of our lives. Like. More, more, more so than I thought it would. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, it's uh, taking a life of its own. <laughs> uh, Dave Chiota, what's up, man? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And yes, we we are gonna I, we have to go get a great vape donut because they're delicious. But before there, I want to have uh, a little uh, ten for Zen with the Universal Ball with some of the water. It just. Why not, right? Why not start it off right? Oh, you smell those flowers? Oh. Dan Stewart, what's going on? Maine checking in. Oh, that's what I smell. Whoa, that's, sorry, that's what I smell. Squirrel. I was smelling so much awesomeness. And then Queen looked over and this is what it is. That's what it is. Oh my God. Oh, guys, take a whiff of that. Look how many are going to bloom through. Oh, yeah, I know. Look at all these little guys. That guy's getting ready to bloom. The smell. I wish I need smell of vision Guys, like, it is... I literally, like, see where they are? I was right over here, and I could smell that over here. <laughs> I could smell the flowers over here. That is how how strong and pungent. Is that a pungent? I don't even know. I think I'm just making up words. Baby Yoda smells good from there. Nice, awesome, awesome. Well, let's go have ourselves a uh, a little ten for Zen. Actually, you know what? I don't think I'll be able to include the uh, the ball. I think it's going to look cooler over this way. 
So guys, we're out of 10 for Zen. If you're new to the channel, our 10 for Zen is what it is. We take a moment to enjoy the sights and the sounds uh, wherever we are. Uh, you can spam Zen emojis if you want, any other emoji if you want, or just kick back, relax, and enjoy this Zen. Oh yeah! I turned it into a little. I turned it into a moving zen. Do you guys like the moving zens? It's kind of stable for a minute, and then kind of pan. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> surprise, surprise! Oh, thank you guys for zenning out with us. What is going on, Chuck? Welcome in. I saw Totter. What's up, buddy? Thank you guys seriously for joining. Don't forget when you come on in. Things that help our channel. If you enjoy our channel, you want to help our channel grow so we can keep doing what we're doing and more of it, don't forget to boop that like. Hit that subscribe, man. And also, we make vlogs. We do vlogs. Don't forget to check out the vlogs. We, uh, we have a lot of fun making them. We think they're pretty enjoyable to watch. Uh, definitely worth checking out after our stream today. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Thank you so much. Oh, that I didn't even see it. I'm sorry. Oh, read it. Read it. Uh, Chris said, "Thanks for always being a ray of sunshine for us all. So love you guys. We love you too." Christy J's in the house. Christy J's in the house. Bilky Glenn. <laughs> Good morning, Tanya Rodriguez. Good morning, Valerie. Good morning. Oh, I'm sure they do. I mean, there's some like vegan options that they have at Universal. I think a lot of parks, if not all of them. Uh, we saw that they, um, Budodona has vegan. Yeah, yeah, like vegan, and then like I know they have salads and things that are healthy options for you. So, oh yeah, and today Universal Studios is open till 7 p.m. Now let's go through the uh, through the turnstiles. You gotta get my thing and your thing. Tara Dizzle, thank you for joining our YouTube membership. Welcome. Thank you for your support. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. <laughs> and but seriously though, uh, thank you for any new folks coming in for the first time on our channel. Uh, Please let us know you're new. We, we want to, honestly, we want to welcome you in and make you feel a part of what we're doing and, and, and joke with you and make you laugh. And that's why we're here. That's why we're, why, why this channel exists. Hey, good morning. Awesome. Thanks, man. Have a good day. Look at Queen Bee. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. We are here. And I want to let folks know if you're, you know, you've never been to Universal, so this is, this is called Universal Studios. But right next door, they have Universal Studios Islands of Adventure. It's a different kind of park, but it's still Universal, and it is walking distance. It really is. You just go back out where we are on City Walk, and you can walk over there. It takes maybe five, ten minutes uh, to get over there. Oh, it is so nice to be back at uni. We got some, okay. Uh, uh, Sifa is new. I'm liking the energy. Welcome in, Sifa. Sifa, welcome. Denzanito, what's up, buddy? Um, but yeah, welcome in. We have a ton of fun on this channel. We have the best viewers, best mods on the planet. 
I'm telling you right now. Hey, Samantha. Welcome. Welcome in. Brady, what's up, dude? Ooh. UK Jack and Rose, hello. <laughs> Welcome to Hollywood there. Good to see you. Are you, are you giving crazy rides in that thing? Absolutely. I'm fast and furious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the only way to ride, right? Absolutely. Fast and furious. Are you doing live stream right now? We are. We are. You are. You are on stage, my you friend. Tell your followers. Uh huh. Come by and see the Labby the Cabby. Guys, Labby the Cabby. Tell them Drew sent you. That's if right. they come, I'm Drew. Yeah, that's right. You tell them Drew sent you. Yep. And come say hi. Absolutely. And if you need a taxi, you call Labby the Cabby. <laughs> Have a great day. You too, man. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Labby the cabbie, guys. You, you can't snooze on Labby the cabbie. Never. All right. All right, here's a question. I'm going to leave it up to chat. First three. Do we go straight or do you guys want to go right? Which way do we go? Straight or right? And there's no right or wrong answer. <laughs> because there's no right. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Funny. You are okay. funny. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, oh my is goodness. It, is it right? Everybody it's wants to right. go right. This is right. Oh, it is a right. <laughs> That's Sorry, right. That <laughs> wow. It is a right. It is a right. It's a, well, we went the right way, I guess. No, uh, no, did you want to go in here? And get a. And get a. I will get a breakfast. Okay. And go see. Yeah, I'll just I'll go meander over there for a minute. There you are. Oh, oh yeah, let me go see myself. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna have breakfast. We're gonna have breakfast with you guys. Uh, yeah, just split one. Yeah. You need anything? No. Okay. No coffee. Yeah, right. Yeah, get a coffee while you're in there. We'll just put a coffee, iced coffee, if they have it. Okay. Or we don't have to. Or, or no. Maybe we get a Starbucks. We're, 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 we're always honest. This coffee is gas station coffee. In a pinch, it works great. But this has something we're going to show you. It's a uh, che ham and cheese croissant. Fantastic. Highly recommend it. We got one uh, a month or two ago. But Greg J, what's up? James Cicinito, that guy. What's up, dude? And look at this. Look at this. We have Shaggy and Scooby. <laughs> Look at it. You know what? Let's go say hi. Let's go say hi. Let's go say hi. Why not, right? Live a little. Look at that. Oh, they're le Oh, they're leaving. They're leaving. Let's stay behind them. <laughs> Look at them. Zoink, Scoob! Ah, <laughs> oh, we just missed them. But we didn't miss them. We actually got them. There they go. He saw me coming. He's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> Right, row Reggie. George Priestley, good morning. So I'm gonna go over Christy Castle. Oh, Tink Disney, I saw Long Island Lori, Sarah Richardson, Sam, Christina G. What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a wonderful morning. Can't thank you enough for stopping in and seeing what's going on here on the channel. Uh, you know what? Let's go in here real quick while Queen is getting our. Uh, croissant sandwich that we're going to show you guys. We got Hello Kitty and Hello Kitty um, she sometimes is out here for meet and greets uh, or she's inside of the store. Just depending I think on the day and what's going on. But let's go let's go peek in here real quick of some uh, some merchandise. She's about to come in right now. Brianne Anderson, good morning. Mrs. Billy Glenn, hello. I just, I gotta touch it. <laughs> I gotta touch it. <laughs> I can't, I can't help but to touch the merchandise. But yeah, if you're a Hello Kitty fan, man. So 
Scop Cindy, yes. Good luck on your a play production. That's fantastic. Absolutely good luck. You're gonna nail it. You're gonna nail it. Go in with that confidence and uh, and just own it. You know what I mean? Just believe you everything's gonna be go you know, everything's gonna go good and let me tell you what, it will. It, it might not always go the way that you planned, but it will go exactly how it's supposed to go. I see the rainbow. Susan D, good morning. Look at this. This is a pretty cool uh, this is a pretty cool lounge fly. That's that white is gonna get dirty real quick. Really quick. 82 bucks. Michael Daniel Ferguson, good morning. Coach Ed, what's up, buddy? Oh, Coach, we love us a little universal as well. And uh, in case you didn't know, we can't really go on rides here at Universal, but we can enjoy everything else uh, that Universal has to uh, to offer, you know? And if you're a SpongeBob fan, SpongeBob here is uh, is quite prominent, and I love him. <laughs> he's so funny, such a such a great villain because he's so tiny as well. <laughs> Smelly pirate water. What's up? Oh yeah, we're gonna go check out some uh, HHN, some ha Halloween Horror Nights uh, merchandise in the store. That's one of our plans, and then we're also gonna go check out the progress progress, if any, over at the DreamWorks area. But this is actually my favorite character on Spongebob, believe it or not. This is Gary. Meow. <laughs> he just cracks me up. Gary, Gary is hilarious to me. Because <laughs> he does, you know, he's, he's, uh, Spongebob's like pet. But he's just kind of like, <laughs> he's like a snooty, like, cat. <laughs> Where he doesn't really care. Not really. And E.T., this is one of my favorite lounge flies that came out with. I thought it was such a great idea. So it's like the basket with E.T. in it. How awesome is that? Or you get a little plushie with E.T. in the basket. Oh, and that shirt is everything. Oh, man. 27, excuse me, 27 bucks. And I love how it has, like, the galaxy. You know what I mean? Like, the, you got the... The moon and everything, and then you got all the stars in the back. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, Sev, the, I can ask them if they allow me to do it. I'll ask a cast member, but uh, it typically, like I've asked for other things, and they've told me no. It's very confusing here at Universal, um, and I'll tell you in a second after I show you this amazing snow globe. I love snow globes. Look at that. Uh, let's see the price on that. 47. Whew. That's a little steep. But it's still cool, but just a little steep. Um, oh, what was I gonna, what was I gonna say? Um, yeah, so, <laughs> there was one time that I went to Cat in the Hat over at Islands of Adventure, and I asked the cast member, I said, hey, can I film on this? And I had two cast members go, yeah, absolutely, no problem. Because it didn't say on the outside of the ride, no filming. I said, okay. So we went with the live stream. And halfway through the ride over the intercom, the person told me to put my camera away. So it's very, like, I look at it and go, all right, Universal. Either just make it 100%. You can't film any rides no matter what. Never, ever, ever. Or let, let us, you know, film and, and stream rides. Uh, honestly, I think it would be more beneficial if they actually did allow filming and stuff. Because I think more people would be able to see how amazing Universal Studios rides actually are. They are amazing. They really are. Candy, welcome in. Sorry, uh, Mama Coco. Matt Castle, what's up, dude? Lighthound, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Happy birthday, Mama Lighthound. I hope you have a beautiful day. Absolutely. Have a great birthday. Look at Queen. I know, I saw that. I want to let you guys know for uh, these uh, refillable mugs. I'm going to let you know. They're like $18 or something, but all day you can fill those up with soda and um, Powerade and stuff like that. Totally worth the money. Trust me, it's worth the money. And if you keep the cup, the next time you come in, 
the next day, um, whenever you come back, you just reactivate it for like 10 or 12 bucks, and then you can do it again. Use the same cup. So. All right. No, you ended up, you ended up getting. <clears throat> wow, Queen's gonna give the iced coffee a chance. All right. Yep. Breakfast. Woo. Breakfast with Drew and Queen normally will have like a banana or something, but we didn't we didn't have time this morning. Uh, we were buzzing right out of the house. So, what's up, pickles? So we're trying. We're gonna try their um, iced coffee. I don't know how good it's gonna be. I really don't. Alright, the picture will be better. Was a little blurry. A little blurry. Okay. It was. All right. So guys, cheers, Prost, salute, Slatcha, to embracing the day and uh, enjoying every minute of it because you never know when your last day is going to be. Uh, so just enjoy every day you have, man. Be thankful today. So cheers, Prost, salute, Slatcha. It's interesting. I'm gonna have Queen take a sip of this. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this. Now, I've had a few drinks, you know, adult beverages in my past. This tastes like coffee brandy. I'm not kidding. That's what it is. It tastes like coffee brandy. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have her taste it and say, uh, it's not bad. Uh, but I don't think I would get it again. It's kind of a weird taste. It's kind of a weird taste, so. Uh, Paul, uh, Paula Wilby, hello. Dan Stewart, hello. Yeah, see? <clears throat> Dan Stewart says it would be a great sales pitch for people to see the rides, at least see the, the cues. I can understand they don't want cameras flying around on the rides. And that was, and that was my thing, because I had asked multiple like cast members and stuff. And they're like, well, it's a safety thing. And I'm like, it's a safety thing here, but out in Hollywood, Universal Hollywood, out in California, they allow filming. Uh, and I'm like, well, some of those safety things, it's like Cat in the Hat. It's a little dark ride. I, I, don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't see how that would be, uh, I don't see how that would be like a safety issue. You know what I mean? But I don't know. I just follow the rules, and what they tell me to do is what it is, you know? <laughs> yeah, Dan Stewart, I know, right? I know. Yeah, it's weird, man. Maybe it's the flavor that she got? I don't know. Maureen Fisher, hello from Leesburg, and Terry Galliott. What's up, buddy? How you doing? How's everybody this morning? You guys wake up, you know? Fired up, ready to go, or did you guys wake up uh, sleepy-eyed? Because I did wake up a little sleepy-eyed, but uh, we're, we're going to change that real quick. So we're at Universal, and it's, and it's game time. It's play time, you know? It is play time. But I want to see how everybody's doing this morning. Michelle Kamara, hello. Laura LM, Reaper 6. Can you still meet the Transformers at Universal? Yes. Yes, you can. And they are out there. It's actually a pretty easy, um, pretty easy meet and greet. Lines aren't always that busy. Eric and Kelsey, little sleepy eyed. <laughs> uh, good morning, Katrina Wilson. Hi. Take a sip of that. I wanna get I wanna get your I wanna get your opinion. I'm gonna tell you what it tastes like to me. Wonder how Do you know what it tastes like to me? It tastes like coffee brandy. It did. What kind of syrup? Caramel. But it's like not the best. Definitely isn't. <laughs> but you know what though? But no, but you have to you, you gotta try I didn't put, I told you no. I said we're good. We're good. But you, you gotta try stuff, guys. You know what I mean? It's a gamble. Life's a gamble. 
Hold on, guys. Like everyone to your welcome to the party of Baker Marching Band. Alright, I don't know where they're going or where. Let's check this out. Let's check it out. It's a marching band. I don't know where they're going. Are they co All right, cool. They're coming down this way. Nice. It's pretty cool. Yeah. She knows what would happen if she spiked the drink. Uh, okay, so here's the deal. I want to talk to you guys because uh, we do vlogs as well as live streams, as you know, a lot of you know. I I have an idea that I want to do for a vlog. Tell me what you guys think. I'm thinking of doing a pros and cons at Universal and a pros and cons at Disney to show you what I feel Disney does better and then what Universal does better. Oh my god, thank you so much, Tink Disney. See if I can hit the heart. Boop. Thank you so much. Oh, have a good day, Tank. Thank you for stopping in. Hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, Nictorious, Nictorious. Um, but anyway, so, uh, because one thing I know, actually two things I know, uh, okay, so Universal Studios, their security system when you're coming into the park is far superior to Disney. I have to admit that. It is insanely efficient. It's like airport, so you come in, take all your stuff, put it on a thing, boom, it goes through, you're good to go, and you just go into the park. Where Disney, it's one of these weird things where they pull you aside, then you gotta wait in another line, and then they take their time going through your bag, which can be kind of a, a hindrance and a nuisance sometimes. Um, but what Disney does better than Universal is their food. Their food comes out quicker, like Universal, the customer service sometimes can be lacking like it's it's been quite a few minutes and all we got was a croissant a, cr a ham and cheese croissant you know what i mean kind of brushes 402 ventures thank you so much man really appreciate that 
Welcome. Dr. Lorca, what's up? Okay, but it does look beautiful though. Okay, yeah, check this out. So this is, I highly recommend this. It's a, a Gouda cheese and ham croissant. So, so good, man. Oh, so good. So yeah, so anyway, that was my idea. What do you guys think about that for a uh, for a video? What are you doing? What are you no, the, the pros and cons. I was just oh, telling them yes. about Universal does their security better. Yeah. But the Disney is better with their customer service and stuff like that. Look at this thing. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Uh, Reaper 6, yeah. And that's why we come to Universal so people can understand. Bing, cheers. Have a bite, everybody. No, because we, we come here because we want we want people to know. I know everybody know uh, not everybody. Lots of people know a lot about Disney, and I think people sleep on they sleep on the um, on Universal. You know what I mean? Like they just don't know about it. And I'm here to tell you, it's an amazing, amazing park parks. Um, but guys, grab your grab your breakfast. Have a yeah. breakfast with us. Oh, this is so good, though. Mm. It's so good. And the croissant is is beautiful. It's a beautiful mm -hmm. croissant, man. And it really, I mean, look at that. Amazing. Like it's, yeah. It's, it's got that soft crunchy. Soft crunchiness, yeah. you know what I mean? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, no, and, and Raphael, Raphael uh, Guardado. I agree. Disney's Photo Pass is better than Universal's. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you right now, Disney's app is a hundred times better than Universal's. Uh, which we talked about it. When Epic Universe comes up, when that opens, Universal better have their app working because yeah. there's going to be queues and, and oh my gosh, it'll be a nightmare. Also, meet and greets are better than Universal. Mm -hmm. They're easier. They're easier and they're more um, they're more often. You know? What else? Mm. Rose Monroe wants to know about the quality of food between parks. They both can fail. They both have bad bad food, but they also both have great food. Like right here, like just to give you an idea. Right here at the Today Show Cafe, or the Today Cafe, the coffee here is horrendous. I'm oh, gonna go ahead and say it. I'm not gonna lie. Sorry. It's Sorry. bad, it's bad. But this croissant, their pastries, I think Universal does better pastries than yeah. Disney, to be honest with you. I really do. But, I mean, there's always good and bad with everything. You know what I mean? Um, Is the ham and cheese croissant as good as the kitty cat lounge? I don't know, man. You know what? We actually, all we've ever gotten was coffee. coffee. That's all we've gotten. Next time we go into the kitty cat lounge, we're going to have to get something to eat. Yep. We're going to have to get something to eat. And good luck. I saw your, um, I saw your comments, but I was, I didn't have a chance. <laughs> mm. Good luck. Ezekiel wants to know what rides are better, Universal or Disney. Well, that's an apples and oranges thing. But I will tell you one thing that Universal does a little bit better is the um, like 3D. Um, what am I looking? At? The motion. Yeah, the motion. Right? Yeah. Or, or, virtual, like a virtual ride. I think they do better. Mm. I think their their technology is a little higher than Disney. Uh, I have the phone. I real finish this croissant. My croissant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we gotta get the food definitely. I know the butter beer is better here than at Disney. Oh, the butter beer. <laughs> they don't have butter beer in Disney. Yeah, so many like different things. But about the rice, I feel like Universal have more rice and they're like a little bit more crazy. Chile rice. Yeah. But Disney have like that classic rice, you know, the magical one. Yes. The more nostalgic, nostalgic rides, yes. more the, the rides that you hold to your heart. Like yes. here at Disney, they got rid of a few of the ones that would be close to people's yes. hearts, yes. like Jaws and Back to the Future, but we do have yeah. E.T. I feel Universal is good for um, 
teenagers and adults, more mm -hmm. than for little kids. Little kids like to like have the magic, you know. They want to see the princesses and like. But with that new DreamWorks area, oh, yes. kids are really going to dig that. That's true. Little kids That's are going to dig it. Booger, hello. Give me Timmy. Hi. Timmy, Booger, what's going on? Hey, Donna. Oh, yeah. Ooh, you guys are like speedway. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, goodbye from Brazil. For you, beautiful day today. Oh, it's gorgeous today. How was your Oh my god, Delicious. it was so good. It was life changing. Kind of, okay. I don't want any more of that. I want water. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't read this. I can't. It's too sick. You can taste the syrup mm -hmm. of the, um, of the um, caramel, but it's not like... It's, it's coffee like, brandy. <laughs> it's like it's lost the caramel flavor and just stay with the, like, the whatever. Bitter, the bitter yeah. Fantastic. Oh, you have water? So that was a boo in the coffee, but the croissant was delicious. But they're hot coffee in a pinch. You have water. But honestly, they're hot coffee in a pinch. It's not terrible. Like, I, I don't mind, like, a gas station type coffee. Would, like, but if I come here and I'm like, I want a nice cup of coffee, going over, going over to uh, Starbucks. I have to, like, because I know Starbucks knows how to do coffee, but pastries and eats here, all about it, all about Thanks it, Thanks, guys, for having breakfast this morning. Yes, thank you, guys. Sorry, normally we, uh, normally we'll eat, like, at least a banana before we start, but, uh, we got a little later start than we wanted to today, so we appreciate it. Let's group it around. Boop. Uh huh? They're back, see what I mean? We just came over here. We just came over here and they just left. Well, that's like the kind of ride that like Shaggy gives you on his back, right? Yeah. 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 You know what? Yes. Right there. No, he's got a mask on. Oh, okay. Right? No, no, he's got a mask on. That's the guy you're looking for. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Did I just come in and like kind of mess up you guys' research? It's okay because like we're playing it cool. He doesn't think we're chasing him. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. So you don't want to chase. You want him to come to you. You guys are smart. That's a, they're right. You don't want to have to run all over the place. Sorry, I, I'm thinking. Yeah, what do you think? Are you okay? Something tells me that's a pigeon. Oh, I don't oh, know what. I mean, oh. Maybe it's. Maybe it is just a pigeon. Yeah, it's either it's one of two things. It's either a guy in a mask, okay. it's a really smart <laughs> or it is a pigeon. <laughs> or option three, it's a guy in the mask's secret. Pretending to be a pigeon. Yeah, it could be a robot pigeon. <laughs> but like, the pigeon is crossing the road. It's not a pigeon. See. I got them in a conversation. I got them in a conversation. I just walk away. <laughs> but it's because somebody was waiting to get a picture. I didn't want to hold them up. James E., what's up, buddy? Welcome in with Gilmore. Good morning. Good morning. Just want to go over some chat, guys, in case I miss anybody. She's back. Oh, okay. Yeah, check it out. It's a Corksicle uh, Festival of the Arts bottle. I love this thing. And you know what's great about it? So it was funny because Queen wanted to drink one time, the first time we got it. And uh, and she was and do it, she was like tipping it up like you drink. 
There was nothing coming out, and I go, no, it's because there's there's a straw. You got to sip it like a little kid, because there's a straw that goes all the way down to the bottom. Uh, and I and I really like that that it's like got a straw in it. But we only use it for water. That's the only thing we use it for because I think it'd be a pain in the tuchus to clean it. Oh, let's just enjoy everything that is universal. Uh, a show, I say it every time I come and I'm going to say it every time until all of you go on this uh, attraction. If you come to Universal, this is one of the coolest shows I have ever seen in my life. It's the Born Stuntacular. Trust me, you're going to want to go. It's worth the wait. It's insanely cool. Uh, it, I actually had to bug Queen and the kids to go on this because <laughs> they were like, eh, we don't really know the movie, you know, the Bourne movies. But the thing is, it doesn't matter. It honestly doesn't matter whether you like the movies, know the movies. Uh, the stunt show is just insanely cool. No, we're just sitting there. What? What is she doing? Yeah, the carrot like just characters are everywhere. I saw you sitting all alone. Where's the paparazzi for you? It's a nice calm day in the morning. You just you just chilling. Before the chaos. Respect. Yeah, yeah. Before the chaos. Cause they're coming. I, I heard them all talking before they came in. They were looking for Marilyn. <laughs> yeah, run, run! <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Oh my God, Beetle, you see <laughs> What is going on? Betty What the? And Betty moves over here. What is happening? <clears throat> is he yelling at you again? He's asking for your number. Come on. I I thought I thought he liked Lydia Dietz. I thought that was his. You might want to go ask him about that. You know what? I think you're right. I think you're right. And the paparazzi's coming for all you guys. The paparazzi's coming in for you guys. The muscle, the muscle, right here. <laughs> Respect. Hollywood. I want to get a picture. <laughs> what? She's smuggling into me, buddy. What? I'm gonna flip it. Go down and flip it. All of a sudden. What's going on? So, I just talked to uh, Betty Boo. You well, wanted, you wanted her number, right? If they're hot. All they gotta do is say it three times. <laughs> right. They know how to get a hold of me. All right, let's that's just true. put it that that's way. All right? no, that's Just true. when you look like us, that's... the ladies are all over you. They you know are. how it is. I know. You I know. I, I, I gotta push them all. I, I gotta know. Get them all. I know that you know that I know. Yeah, you know? exactly. But I think her number is six 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 six. I think you're making that up. Maybe. But you might want to try. You it. have a very dishonest face. <laughs> Hey, it takes one to know one, buddy. That's Come right. on. Come on. You're like two peas in a pot over here. That's right. That's right. I love that. Hey, I think hey listen. I got this new movie coming out, right? Yes, yes. I'm going to need some guys that I can trust that got my back. Right? Oh, you look like you can handle yourself. Oh, absolutely. Right, so I can get you on the paper. Very lucrative opportunity. Get you a company car, yeah. corner office. Hey, yeah. I'm such a great boss. Yeah. I'll even give you business cards. Because I'm that kind of guy. What? I'm that kind of guy. Dude, you're the best. I'll have my people call your people. All right, do it. I'll see you at work. All right, man. You're great. <laughs> Beetlejuice, everybody! <laughs> wow, that was awesome. But to go back to what we were saying over in the cafe, the meet and greets here are like, they're just boom, boom, they're everywhere. Just hanging out. I'm just sitting there. And I got a job. I got a job. Job, dude. I, and knew I, get that, I knew it. I get that. Hollywood was going to come. That's what it is, because it was like Hollywood. And I even get business cards. Can you believe it? That dude was amazing. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> and what 
is going on with the quietness? Dude, but when we were walking in, yeah. it was so many people coming. They might be I know. Like you could be right, yeah. Harry Potter. <laughs> you could be right. Uh, you know what, scenes is like nobody over here. Let's show you guys over here at Mel's Drive-In. If you're, uh, you know, old, oldish like me, or maybe even a little older, or if you grew up with really cool, you know, brothers or parents that are older than you, and made you watch the movie American Graffiti, then you will recognize Mel's Drive-In with the awesome cars. And I always have to tell people, I, I'm not a car guy. I don't know anything about them. I think they look cool and whatnot, um, but I don't really know cars, so. Uh, Daryl W, thank you so much, man. It was great meeting you guys last Sunday after your stream at Epcot. Sad to be home, but looking forward to our trip next month. Disney fans, Jen, Daryl, and Blake. Thank you, guys. And it was so nice to meet you. We love meeting you guys out in, uh, in the parks and stuff, so thank you so much. Well, we got a 1932 Deuce Coupe. I only know that because I'm reading it. These are just cool looking cars, right? Yes. Chris Bonica slash Bonica, what's up, dude? Ford Disney Parks, welcome in. Hope you guys are enjoying here at Universal as we are just literally, we're trying to get all of the flavor to show you guys why Universal is just an awesome place. What, 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 what? Who? <gasps> what? <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. We've got the mystery machine rolling down. Oh, we gotta go the other side. We gotta go the other side. The Disney fans, absolutely. Thank you guys for all your support. You know, uh, we just we just want to you know have this community. We've created this community just to uh, have a good time with you guys and, and, and have fun, you know? Is he gonna race? Is he gonna race? He looks like he's gonna race. Let me see, let me see, come on. Octavia Melody, welcome in. Good morning, happy tie dye Sunday from here at Universal Studios Orlando. King Julian, everything is happening right now. What is going on? I don't know what to do. <laughs> Let's zoom in on the Shagster. <laughs> King Julian! Whoop, whoop. Zoink, Scoob! He's taking it real slow. Oh, oh, yeah! Way to get him going, Queen. He likes to move it. But as you guys can tell, the chaos in the best, best way ever. They definitely have fun. Look at him. That's insane. All right, let me do. There's so much I don't even know what to do with myself. Doc is there. Oh my gosh, Doc Brown is just wandering around. Ooh, Miguel, that's a good question. Queen, do you have a flame as in, you know, your flame over at Magic Kingdom is liver lips. Do you have a flame here? She's gonna have to think on that think one. And, and, I, and I think I think I do have a little flame. I always have loved Betty Boop. Betty Boop. Yeah, I like Betty Boop. Oh, that's it, nice. It's because she says boop boop be doop. My <laughs> dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Queens is dog. I thought you were gonna say Shrek, but. I almost said. <laughs> Wow, look, look, but this is this is interesting to me. Look at the line to see Doc. It's not okay. He's always fun. 
He is always fun. Carmen Gloria loves your shirt. Oh, thank you, Carmen. Where's San Jimmy you found today? Are we glitchy guys? How we doing? Maybe your phone, Drew. Yeah, maybe. Cupcake lover, hello, right on, right on. I, I love Marilyn Monroe as well. I think how's the picture? Uh, yes, yeah, so let us know how the picture is, guys. We want to make sure it's not glitchy or anything like that. We don't know if it's our phone or if it's actually glitchy. <clears throat> Kim Patton, thank you for joining our membership. Thank you so much. <laughs> really appreciate your support. And everybody's saying it's good. DB Witty, what's up? Hollywood. Shock What? What is happening? Oh, I got a couple experiments. Nothing. Not no. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Secret. My name is Drew. Drew, you're gonna ask me something. I was gonna ask you. Seeing as that you went to the future, uh -huh. what is the weather looking like next week? Do we know? Uh, well, uh, are you going? Where are you going to be? At my house, which is in Florida. Uh, Central it's, Florida. It's going to be uh, so. So it's going to be warmer. It's gonna be warmer. Yes. Guys, you heard it here first. It's gonna be warmer. Breaking news. Now, I am not a meteorologist, nor do I actually uh, know the exact weather components right. that are sure, going to be sure. coming up. Right. However, I know that here in Florida, from this point forward, it's just going to be Florida. It's going to be, gonna gonna be Florida. You heard it. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be Florida. It's going to be warm. So much so. Right. Did you want a photo? Or are we good? Yeah, no, no. Oh, yeah. We're going to do a photo. We're going to do a photo. We're going to do a photo. Awesome. Have a great day. He's going to see us in the future. So it's going to be hot. Next week in the future, it's going to be hot. That's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> the J, what's going on, Jill? And I don't know why. I know. How does he know? We're not going to do it today, but at some point, we need to get a crepe from Central Park Crepes. We've never eaten a crepe there. And every time, like, the, I think it was like two or three times, we went to get in line for the crepes, and it was too big of a line. So I was like, ah, well, let's put a kibosh on that. We'll get them next time. And we, it's never been a next time, so. Ooh, ooh, let's go up in this little, this little nook and area. Hold on, Brett and Jamie, thank you guys for being a member for 18 months. Good morning. And you are so welcome for the Sunday content. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. We're, you know what we're doing? We're, we're going to do a little 10% and then we're going to make a wish. That's what's happening here. Let me get this thing. Okay. Guys, let's have a little zen action going on here. And then we're going to make a wish. I mean, how beautiful is this? My goodness. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Brett and Jamie, hey, you know what? For real though, like, um, the zens, you know? Like, just, just giving yourself a moment to just breathe, relax, man. Slow it all down. And, and what I've actually been doing on uh, social media lately, uh, every week, I'm doing, it's going to be called like uh, a slowdown. It's like a slowdown series where I'm going to take some clips of some really pretty places. Uh, it'll start out normal and then I'm slowing it down because it's a very visual reminder for all of us to slow it down. Stop running around. You don't always have to run around. Nothing is honestly that important. 
99% of what we do that we're running around is really not as important as we build it up in our heads, you know? Uh, but all right, we're gonna make a wish, guys. And if you're new, just so you, in case you need to know the rules, we're all gonna make a wish on this big quarter. I'm going big time, baby. I'm not messing around. We're going big time, big balling. Uh, but I want everybody to make a wish on this coin. I don't want. I want you to wish for something for somebody else, not for yourself. Wish for some something for somebody else because someone needs those vibes out into the universe. Uh, my wish is always the same. It always will be. Uh, let me know in chat. Just put ready when you guys are ready for the wish, and we'll get it on. I'll wait for a few more readies. I think we're good, baby. We're good, we're doing it. All right, here we go. I hope everybody's wish comes true. I hope those folks on, you know, on the receiving end get your blessing, get your get your vibes, get your energy, get your spirit, you know, and uh, and whatever they need, I hope they get. So, thank you guys for joining us today. For Disney Parks, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for the Sunday morning live stream, Drew and Queen. You are so welcome. Thank you for your for your kindness and generosity. Um, for the folks that are new to the channel, we go live every Sunday in the morning. Um, also, we do vlogs during the week, and we just keep trying to uh, bombard people to go check them out because we feel like they're pretty good. We have fun. You know, we, some of them are, are try, most of them we try to make uh, informative, but also just enjoyable. So please, if you want to help the channel, one of the biggest ways, one of the biggest ways is to check out those videos and, you know, give it a like, give it a comment. Because um, we have, like, as you heard Beetlejuice earlier, uh, he has a new movie coming out, Beetlejuice 2. And we actually have a video from last year from last year um, when we went to the Beetlejuice 2 filming location in Vermont. It's definitely a very cool thing to check out. Do you want to get in line? Yeah. No? Okay. <laughs> Aww. I don't, now I'm wondering, where's Boots? Where's Boots? You know what I think happened? I think I think they had a fight as a couple. Oh, wow. They had a fight. <laughs> they had a fight. No, they did. And then she won. She's like, "You're staying home. I get to go meet the people." I do want to show them though where they can try. <gasps> I want to meet SpongeBob right now. We have to. And then we're gonna look at the uh, which way? Which way? I don't know. The other way. I don't know. We're gonna go in the SpongeBob store pants uh, for their store meeting. Pants? It's called store pants. Yeah. Yes. Oh, we gotta go the other way. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I know, that's why I need it. I need it in my life. I need it in my life. Ryan's Disney Adventures, thank you so much. Oh, oh, no, we have. I didn't even know. Sorry. My bad. My bad. I'm sitting here trying to cut the line on everybody. It's totally worth Well, you wanna wait in line for a second and I'll. I'm just gonna show them over here. We were totally trying to skip the line. <laughs> not not on purpose. Uh, I'm gonna go back here so I can try to get, I'm gonna try to zoom it in a little bit, guys. I know it's not gonna be perfect. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I wanna get out of everybody's way. Okay, here we go. So this over here is going to be the DreamWorks land. And right there is Shrek's house. In the back too, you can see they have a, a roller coaster. I forget, I forget like what the theming is on the roller coaster. Uh, but this is going to be a great area for younger kids uh, and me. I, I just I want to go see Shrek's house because I believe that I believe. Don't quote me. I believe that's where they're going to have the Shrek, you know, Fiona meet and greet. But it's coming along, and I think it's supposed to be up this Sunday, if I remember correctly. Or not this Sunday, this summer, excuse me. So, I think it's gonna be awesome. 
Uh, Jithin PR, hello, welcome in. And Shrek does rule, Brett Fertig. I agree, man. I love it. I love it. Uh, Clicked Sphinx, welcome in. The Mummy Ride. You know, I've never, uh, I've actually never been on that ride. Uh, and unfortunately, I won't ever be able to. But everybody says it's a very cool ride. Um, at some point, maybe I'll get on it. But probably not <laughs> if they slow it down. Uh, so over here, I don't know. Maybe you guys know. Maybe some of you folks know. Uh, Gabby's Dollhouse. I'm not really sure what. The, obviously, it must be a movie or something with DreamWorks. But man, it's going to be a fun land regardless. Uh, but what? What the big question is is because they had the Fievel, um Fievel, like water area right over here, right next to ET, and that's what gave ET. There's a smell of like uh, you know pool water kind of thing, and you either love it or you hate it. Um, but we're wondering if that smell is going to go away or if it's actually permeated in the in the building. Yeah, yeah, the Gabby's Dollhouse. Uh, Go under. Whoop. There we go. Taylor's Vlogs, hello. Troll theme coaster. Okay, thank you, Taylor Vlogs. Okay, that's cool. We were all singing that song the other night, huh? Doo -doo 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 I'm actually very excited because I don't think I've ever met SpongeBob no. and Patrick at the same we time. Met Patrick and I think. Yeah, all the time. But <laughs> they got a they got a wearable blanket. Do you know? And every time I hear this song, do you guys remember the uh, Simpson episode with Homer, with the baseball when he played uh, when he was the mascot for the baseball team? Every time I hear this song. And. Uh, Queen just posted, guys. Don't forget to follow our Facebook page uh, over on Facebook. We post a lot there, like pretty much every day. Uh, also, don't forget we have an Instagram during the moment on Instagram. Uh, so definitely check it out. You get a moment. Hey, how are you? I can't complain. This is my first time seeing Patrick and SpongeBob at the same time. Blew my mind. I walked by. I was going somewhere else, and I was like, I gotta stop. It's <laughs> squirrel. Alan Buck, what's going on? I am super pumped right now. I really am. Me personally, I, I love SpongeBob. I know some, some people say it's like a cartoon that's like a little too hard for them to handle. So it's a little intense at times. Um, but I think it's the right amount of, uh, of intense intensity, for me at least. And our kids grew up watching it, and they love it. And it was like, I remember watching it with the kids. Hey, Scooter Guy. Scooter Guy. Oh, nice, dude. I hope you're having a great day over at HS. I just want to sound cool and say HS. I don't think anybody really says HS, but... But we could call it the Stewed. Yeah, now I'm going to start trying. I'm going to call it the Stewed. We're going over to the Stewed, man. Too bad I didn't have SpongeBob on my shirt. Oh, Dan Stewart, thank you, man. Right on. Quintarius Davis, what is happening? Welcome in. Kim Patton, hello. I know, there's like no cut. Thank you so much. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Hello, friends. Hello. Hello, We didn't skip the line this time. Oh, no, you did amazing. Oh, Patrick! <laughs> Do you know I've never met you guys together in the same room? For a little while, do you know what I thought? I thought you guys were the same person. You know how like they do the Batman? You don't see Batman and Bruce Wayne? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but look at you guys. Look at you guys. Are you having a good day? Yeah? Yeah? Well, guess what? I'm having the best day now that I get to see you again. You get a picture. I'm pumped. So excited. I'm so pumped. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Sorry. All right. Oh, I want to get a picture too. I'm so nice. Oh, look at this. I get hugs. 
I did hug. Can I get a picture? One more, one more picture? No, can oh, yeah. I get a picture? Did you, I would, Sorry. Did you share? I guess <laughs> I'll share. I thought it was my day. Oh, yeah. I'm just cranking pictures right now. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Hugs. Hugs. Stay spongy. <laughs> oh, man, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, I went hard. No, 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 no. No, Patrick wanted to give me a hug. Patrick wanted to get me a hug. That was awesome. That was so awesome. Thank you for sharing. Uh, I know. I, no, no, no. But, but you normally, but you normally don't want one. I know. I didn't know. I didn't know how special it was to you. Hold on. I just want to see uh, since we're here to show folks how awesome the theming is. This is one of the coolest stores ever. It really is. The theming is just off the charts awesome. <laughs> Erica, Erica said, I'm having flashbacks of V wanting a picture at DVC night. Oh well, but the thing is, it's, excuse me, it's easy with me because I always want a picture, but she doesn't always want a picture. She, like, once in a while wants one. Yeah. Oh, the mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bikini bottom photos. But yeah, you can go in here, you can have yourself a little, uh, a little like disco party. And look, bubbles are only 25 cents. Oh, look at this shirt, man. That is so cool. Uh, Quintarius Davis, absolutely, absolutely. Abim Tapa, hello, welcome in. Eddie Correa, what's up, buddy? 45 bucks for this shirt. If you wanna look, you know, Styling and profiling. Just saying. What do you got? What do you got? Ooh, oh, look at the they're little like babies. Look, look at that. That's hilarious. And that's a, a Nickelodeon lounge fly. That is super cool. I like that. And look, he is a snackitarian. He's a snackitarian. Uh, that is quite a sandwich. A sandwich. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite shirts in here. I love it because it's got like the, uh, you know, the little red on on the sleeves and stuff. Little baseballish looking thing. The Krusty Krab home of the Krabby Patty. And what is that for price? Thirty bucks. Bam, ba, bam, ba, down, down. But such a fun store. So if you're looking for any SpongeBob stuff, definitely make your way in here. And over here, like I, we've talked about the meet and greets, they're constantly over here. Like, or not like, well, yes, over here, but just in general. That would be a good meet and greet, but he'd only be this big. <laughs> All right, let me turn down a little bit of that. There we go, that's better. Sorry, it's very bright. Can you hold? Oh, yeah. Get some water. Oh, I can't wait for this area. Oh, they're playing Woody Woodpecker. Man out. Man out. Diddly diddle doo. A little water. And they have um, animal actors here. It's a show. It's a show that actually used to be a lot um, a lot bigger. With more animals, Like right? horses and stuff like oh, that. Wow. They yeah, they've... Uh, and I'm gonna be honest. I, I enjoy it. It's fun, but they definitely kind of dialed it back quite a bit. They dialed it back quite a bit. You know, kind of. You have some cats and and dogs, and it's still cool. <laughs> Excuse me. It's still cool. It's just uh, I I didn't know how. <clears throat> excuse me. I didn't know how like bigger it was until I saw old videos from it, and it it was pretty big. Better beer. Better beer. What's up, Frosty? I know, dude. The ceiling, like, in that store. Just, even if you don't like SpongeBob, just go in there and, and just check it out. Because it, like, it is very immersive, I think is the word I'm looking for. Look at these flowers. <gasps> just gorgeous. Look at these things. Just look at them. 
Yep, allergy season, dude. I know, I'm sneezing because of all these beautiful flowers. Look at the bee. Where'd you go, bee? Oh, there he is. That bee is just a buzzing, man. Look at him go. He's just a busy bee. He's a busy bee. Look, two of them. Oh, almost three of them. Yeah, just... Oh. Like we said before, spring has sprung. And you know what? You want to hold... Sorry. Hold that. I'm going to clean the screen. Because I have one of those wipers. Nice. All right. We're going to put the camera here, guys. We're going to clean the screen. And if you enjoy our channel and you're enjoying what we're doing, uh, don't forget to share out our content on your social media. Just let people know that we exist. Because uh, if they don't know, they can't come and hang out with us and uh, and just help us grow our community here on the channel. Um, we really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, clean that. Gotcha. Right, hold on, try not to hit any buttons. I uh, got it. Yep. That's good. Perfect. We did it. Thank you guys for uh, being patient as we clean the screen. All right. We're going to go, I figured, go around and then I want to go check out that HHN merch over at the uh, Five and Dime. Oh yeah, oh no, we're getting a butter beer. Just so you guys know, we're getting a butter beer today because I need to get the nasty taste of that coffee out of my mouth. Because that was uh that was less than awesome. Oh, and over here, they didn't have these working for a while. They're back working. Um and, and in the summertime, I'm telling you, these are lifesavers. The the misters. Also, I want to show you guys, so that animal, animal actor show, these are the uh, times. Let me zoom in a little bit. Those are the times that you can go see that. Ghostman, what's up, dude? <laughs> Dan Stewart, the B channel. That's right. You got to be here to be with us. All right, we're going to have this discussion again because it's just fun. I just enjoy it. I, I just love to see how you guys feel about things. And there's no right or wrong answer. <coughs> Excuse me. So this right here is the train. I, I can't remember if this is actually the train, but I'm just saying at least I know for a fact this is like what the train looked like for, um, for the Back to the Future 3, which is my favorite Back to the Future movie. Now, Queens is number two when they go in the future uh so i just want to know what is you guys' favorite number one number two or number three oh, it is the right answer <laughs> oh listen listen to her man yeah i know i i wish i could like let me see no, if i can zoom in in the closing scene of the back in the future Okay. Doug Brown has returned from. I, I think it must be. It's so far away. But no, but it, but it must be. I'm, I'm trying to zoom in, but I don't think it's. I think we'd have to like take a picture and then uh, zoom in on the picture. It's too far. All right, you want to give me a head count? What are we talking? Are, are people like okay. number two? It looked like a lot. Two, two, three. Pooh Bear, right on. You're, you're three. One, One for BE53. Okay. Uh, two for Sam Weld. Two, two, correct. Hey, Teenage Summers, welcome in, guys. Two. Okay, all for me, she said. I said for me, she said all for me. Two, three, Carmen Gloria, two. There is three. All three. Two. All right, guys. The right answer is two. I, <laughs> I say kidding. the right answer is three. But anyway. Uh, what's funny is there wasn't a bunch of ones. Do you notice that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, and usually it's like one, but... Uh, it's and really good. But the two up there, you know. 
Oh, yeah, no, no. The two definitely majority rules, I, I guess. Agree. You didn't understand the two, you like the two. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is actually a DeLorean. People have, people have, like, talked to me before, and the the information I have, this is a DeLorean that is screen used in one of the movies. I forget which movie, but it actually was screen used. Um for Back to the Future. Because somebody goes, no, it's just a replica that they put up. And I was like, no, man. Like, I, I read that it was that it was uh, screen used. Ba, 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 ba. It's just awesome, though. I mean, look at this thing. You got Mr. Fusion. I like it a lot. I do, too. The thing is, you know, it's really tough to find a mechanic when you have to find somebody to work on the flux capacitor. <laughs> <laughs> so oh oh you oh, so you weren't there so I, I I saw you know Scooby and the gang and we saw a pigeon and I said hey guys you see that pigeon and they go yeah and I said that is actually a man with a with a pigeon mask on and I started a conversation where I had them all spinning where one of them was like oh maybe that's it and then Shaggy was like maybe it's just a pigeon and then someone and and then I think it was Velma said maybe. It's a man pretending that he is a pigeon, pretending that he's a man or something like that. Yeah. So I really... She always goes deep, you know? Always goes deep. Oh, my goodness. And we we almost missed... I got to show you Lard Lad Donuts. Because I do love The Simpsons. I don't know if you guys are Simpson fans, but uh, I love The Simpsons, man. And what I really love is the Krusty Burger. It is my favorite meal in Universal. It's that engine again. Hey, what's up, Mr. Dad Gut Parks? What's up, dude? I hope you're having fun over at your Disney park today. I know, dude. I, I want a crust. I'll, I'll grab a crusty burger and a donut. I love crusty burgers. They're so good. Jamie's hanging out with the ducks today. We're hanging out with the pigeons. We're hanging out with the pigeons. I still want to know why that is like that. Pigeon, there's always pigeons in Universal. And there's always ducks in Disney, and there's typically not pigeons in Disney and vice versa. I wonder how much they pay. Just clean up. And if you want to get yourself a, a, a Duff beer, you know, adult beverage, you can come over here. Alright, let's go. Uh, we always love, when we come to Universal, I always want to show people Moe's. And just show them uh, where you can get your crusty burger. So there's there's like multiple food items that you can get in this building. You know, it's not just the crusty burger, but most and the theming in here, man, it's just stellar. Like, look at this. I feel like I'm in Moe's Tavern. <laughs> Look at Barney, he's so sad. Because it's empty. I am a stranger, man, I did. What are you doing? Oh my. Oh yeah, look at look at the drinks that they have back there. Hold on, let me do that. I think that's a clearer picture. There we go, that's clear. They got little like. I was just looking right now. Thank you, though. And I love this, too. You can eat here. This is a, a table for you to eat with a pool table. <coughs> Answer the phone. I'm going to pick it up. Hello. Hello. Nobody was there. <laughs> Nobody answered. And man, are they ever going to fix this? I want to hear some tunes. And oh my gosh, I got to see if this actually is a real payphone. Okay, no it's not. <laughs> I was like, is that actually? Oh, see, there it is. Yeah, it's when Homer dresses up uh, as the mascot. More seating. 
out this way. And I want to show them that like uh, thing with all the characters on it. But over here, you got Lisa's Tea House of Horror. You can get like drinks and like just pick a sandwich to go if you don't want to wait for food, which is brilliant. Uh, they got fruit over there. Then you can get pasta at Luigi's. The Frying Dutchman having fish. Cletus's Chicken Shack obviously having chicken. Krusty Burger right there. That's that's where I go every time. And then you can get the Flaming Mo, which I believe is an energy drink. So lo lots of good options. Lots of good options in here. And as you can tell, look at this. It's lunchtime, basically. There's like nobody in here today. John Tommy, what's up, dude? Happy Tie Dye Sunday, man. I want to show this one. This is just cool. I think this is, if if not all of the characters, a majority of the characters. 457. Hey, Alan Buck, thank you so much, man. I was wondering if you could sing happy birthday to my son, David, he turns 19. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear David. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Happy birthday, David. You're all, you're almost 20, man. <laughs> He's getting there. Oh, but I want to... Oh, before, yeah. So they have a character key. These are all the names of the characters that are over here. Look at this one. <laughs> but I think it's cool. So they have Matt Groening, you know, the creator of, of uh, The Simpsons. And look at old Homer. Oh, How man. far they've come. I eat crayons. <laughs> there he is. Oh, where is Troy McClure? <laughs> I love that character. I can't even see him off the top. Wait, isn't that isn't that Troy McClure right there? <laughs> but yeah, it, it's just fun. You want to come here and like look for characters and. Hey, look! It's Krusty from Wish. <laughs> Oh, dude, I, I'd have to look next time. I'll have to take some time and see if Tracy Ullman. But I think, I don't think she had anything to do with other than uh, giving Matt Groening uh, a platform for the show. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe she is. Or at least that's what I'm, as far as I know, she just gave him a platform. But as always, we hope you guys are having fun with us today. Hope you're enjoying this Universal because we like to switch it up. We don't always want to. I, I honestly, my our goal every Sunday. I don't want to have the same stream. I, I always want it to feel new. I want it to feel different because also, like, I want to experience new things. Like, I've never sat on a bench and talked to Beetlejuice. Not like that. Not like that. So. And that's what's great about coming to the parks. You always can find new experiences every time you come, you know? Hey, Coach Ed. Hello. Hi, Lori Johns. Welcome. Lori Johns, welcome. Whee! And I'm going to show you an area that I haven't seen a character meet and greet in a long time. Is over here. They'll have um, they'll have uh, sideshow Bob quite a bit, but I, I yes, miss them. Yeah, <laughs> I love this. Great photo op here with Millhouse outside of the Quickie Mart. I love it. And look, answer the phone, you dingus. It's for you. All right. All it's doing is beeping. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that. I tried to get it so you could hear it. Let me know if you could. I don't know if I was holding it where I needed to, but. Harry Potter kid, welcome in. Oh, yeah, 
Jamie, I know. That is always the question, and I've also had the question of people go, all right, Drew, you guys move down to Florida, you go to the parks all the time, does it lose its magic? And I'm telling you right now, for us at least, it enhances it because we get to take time being annual pass holders, having this fairly close to us, to like, like we're not rushing, we need to do all the rides and all the stuff. We can actually look around and enjoy the little nooks and little crannies of the parks that, and that's what we love to show you guys, is those little things that people zoom by, you know? And it's always something new. Yes. That, you know, it's something that you use. To seek, yeah, to seek out, yes. And uh, you know, this all—all all these games cost money, just so you know. Terry Rose, hello. Okay, you couldn't hear it. Okay, I'll have to figure out where the uh, where the mic is next time. But it was uh, Apu that runs the Quickie Mart, basically telling us to get out, stop like loitering outside of his store. But I will be honest, it's a little tiny bit pricey for the games. Uh, but if you come like if you come here already with that knowledge and you're like, I don't care, it'll be fun, you know, you just yeah. you know, vacation money. I think it's worth it to go have fun, you know. And here, I'm gonna grab a quick drink of water. Yeah, of course. You gotta stay hydrated. Oops. I can't tell you guys enough to stay Sorry, hydrated guys. here in Florida. It gets it gets hotter than you think, even if the day's not that hot. You know what I mean? Like you might think, oh, it's not that bad of a day, but you can get heat stroke and dehydrated. So I'm just trying to take care oh, of you I guys. Have it. Yeah, you do. I think. Oh no, I have it in my hand. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you were holding it the whole time. I don't know. Coach and thank you so much, dude. Let's play a game, dude. Got a special spaghetti. All right, fine. We'll play a game. We'll play a game. Thank you, Coach Ed. Thank you, bro. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, I don't want to play, Drew. I don't know. Let me go look to see. No, hold on. I don't Why do you want to play, Coach Ed? Drew, Drew is looking at his options now. He's very competitive. So, let's see. What do you guys think? Should I do... Mr. Burns, Radioactive Rings, or I Carumba, which is like a basketball game. You have ring uh, toss or basketball? I don't know basketball. about the ring toss. They always like, I don't know. I don't know. To oil to the ring toss. Okay, well, let them. What first three. Yeah, first let's see, three. Let's see what Pick. Either what Mr. Burns or I Carumba. Uh, over here, let me see. I don't want to do the race thing because I feel like that's. Ooh, oh, or I could do darts. Basketball? Let's do basketball. All right. They, they also have a dart balloon game. All right. Let's see if I can do this. I just gonna pay. Wow. $10. Just a ten dollars. Alright. You get three shots, you have to make one for a small, two for a medium, and then everything else is all two shots. Ooh. I want a piggy. <laughs> My Kinaya kids who love this piggy. Is your tall enough? <laughs> now beware of our defender. Yep, yep. Ah, let's see. Oh, 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 my oh my god! god. Let's go! Let's go! Go pause again! Oh, that's nice. <gasps> nice. Go. Last but not least. Let's go! Do I pick the pig? Do I pick the pig? If you want to get the pig? Like right, we're going to do the pig, dude. <laughs> Spot a pig? Yeah, man. Here you go. Thank you. 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 Thank
Let's go! What? Look at this guy! He is adorable! Alright, I'm going home. <laughs> Oh Dude, my goodness. I'll tell you that trick shot. That trick <laughs> shot. I don't know how I pulled that off, but look at that. <laughs> I don't know. Have name. What is it? Do you have a name? I don't know. I'm going to name him Bacon. Bacon? I'm going to name him Bacon. His name is Bacon. Wow. <laughs> yeah, right, Johnny? Larry Bird, who? Nah, Drew Bird, baby. Look, 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 look. Queen's all excited. Dante. He does look a, he's a he's a pig version of Dante from Coco. Wow. But that dude had confidence and I was like, oh I hope I make one. He goes, I think you're gonna make two. So then I saw him one more and I was like, I'm gonna make three. Wow. <laughs> Kevin Bacon, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Hammy Davis Jr. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Those are all awesome names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hammy Davis Jr. <laughs> oh my God. He's in the new mascot. And guys, you know how I feel when I win? <laughs> you <laughs> Oh, look at it. Wrong. Ah, which one's who? Which one's who? Look at the hair! That's your hair cut, Drew! It does, look at him. <laughs> oh, but you know what, guys? What I want to instill in you, live stream after live stream, vlog after vlog, guys, life is too beautiful and too short to worry about what anybody thinks about you or any of that stuff it's about just being yourself and having fun like i'm telling you it's very freeing it's very freeing uh because especially when you come on vacation you know people are like oh i don't want like, people to look at me doing whatever and i'm like you're never going to see those people again why does it matter <laughs> you know like i, I don't know I, I just i i want you guys to just enjoy your life and be who you are and uh Express yourself in any way you want, you know? Dancing in the street. Thank you. Ooh. Before we go in there, before we go in the chaos. <laughs> a little 10%. A little 10%. I'm going to do a 10% over at the Simpson land where I won. I won a pig. Alright, so here is just a nice little calm and quiet zen. <laughs> yeah, Coach Ed. It's a piggy zen. It's a piggy zen. Oh, man. That's hilarious. That was all Queen's idea, just so you know. She gets the credit for that one. Oh. And see, and, and that's another thing. Make sure, you know, if you're, if you're going to marry somebody, date somebody, make sure they have a sense of humor. That is what that, that, that is really, besides obviously being beautiful. But she had a sense of humor, and that sense of humor, man, that, that, I live for that. I live for humor, uh, because it's just beautiful. Oh, Matt, have a good one, dude. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Oh, Matt. Have a good rest of your Sunday, brother. And if you're new to the channel, I haven't said this in a minute, if you're new to the channel, you're just uh, popping in, you know? We want to welcome you in. Please let us know you're new so we can uh, give you a warm welcome. We want you to feel a part. 
of, of what we're doing here on the channel. We want you to just enjoy every second with us here. And I just, this area is so nice. And so we're at the Harry Potter Wizarding World. This is Diagon Alley over at Universal's Islands of Adventure, the other park uh, across the way. They also have a Wizarding World, but it's Hogwarts or Hogsmeade, excuse me, right? Hogsmeade. I always, I always mess that up. Uh, but this is actually, I like this better. I like Diagon Alley better than I do like uh, Hogsmeade. Mike Powell, what's going on, man? Life's all about energy, man. You got, you got to bring it. You got to bring the good energy to life, and then the life will give you good energy right back. You know what I mean? It's kind of like be kind to people, you know, and uh, and kindness will follow you. You be not nice to people, and you can see where that goes. You know. Here we go. Oh, I love this. And we're gonna wait like we always do for the dragon to breathe some fire. So let's uh, let's get a spot right over here. I think will be a good spot. Let's just hang tight for a minute. We can chat and whatnot. Michael, Mark, Blonde, Blonde, welcome in. Thanks for joining. Holly and Sink, hello. Oh yeah, Jamie said if we got the phone outside. Oh okay. Will do. Love it. And it goes off like every 10, 15 minutes, something like that. Um, but just understand some days, if the wind's too strong or other type of weather things, um, other type of weather things, they won't have it uh, have it going. Look at it. And these are the little details. You gotta take your time, or at least let us take our time to show you. You got like the fish head pie, I think. Some eels, ew! Jelly eels, ew! Cause I'm a dancing in the street. Sierra, what's going on? Oh yeah. Just oh, I got, I got a. Yep. We can do whatever you want. Yeah. So you can get butterbeer over here. Uh, they do not have the hot butterbeer over here though, right? You gotta go to the, there's another location here at Diagon Alley. Is that all the regular too? Huh? Is that all the ones sell the Yeah, it sells the frozen, yeah. Check that line then. Rob S727, what's up buddy? Yeah, no, dude, we, we, always, we love Universal. Uh, and I try to, uh, drag some Disney folks along so they can see what Universal is all about. Uh, I feel like Universal gets a bad rap and I feel like people don't give it a chance. They instantaneously compare it to Disney, which Disney and Universal are polar opposites. And it's a good thing, because you know what I mean? Because you want something different. Universal does its own thing and I appreciate that. And just think, Disney could have had the Harry Potter IP. But uh, they 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 just didn't want to didn't want to work with uh, the creator of Harry Potter, J.K. Rowling. But Universal did. Good morning. Good morning. I was trying to work. I apologize. I don't... You have completed your exchange. Please leave as efficiently as you can. All right. I'm sorry to bother you. Much love. Much love. He was so mean. 
Just hug your piggy and everything will be fine. <laughs> Oh, but just uh, the ambiance here in the park, here in this part of the park is just, it is stellar, man. It is just a detail. Oh, they nailed it, man. They absolutely nailed it. You feel, you really do feel like you're walking in, walking into, you know, the world of Harry Potter. Okay. So we like to do this because it's fun. Uh, we're not going to go on this ride because, like I said earlier, they typically don't, you know, allow filming on rides. But we've done this before just to show you guys a little bit of the queue, uh, so you guys can check it out. Yeah, you can. Absolutely. Just talk to my friend right here. Thank okay, you. Okay. Thank you. Well, Donna Scott. Yeah, I know. Well, excuse me. Point and then come right back out of yeah, Thank you so much. Oh, okay. And then like let people go. I want to really. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys want to take pictures, you don't want to go on the ride. Maybe you just don't have time, or it's not really a ride that you want to go on because it's like a roller coaster. Um, you can come in and get pictures in here. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm going to like walk down and take our time coming back. Andy, Disney Whale Sky, hello. In the Gilmore, yes. You, uh, they have interactive wand areas. We gotta be careful because we went last time and it started to get. That was down here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we're just going and just gonna come back. Yeah, thank you. How awesome is this, though? We're, we're gonna, okay, keep us informed. Because uh, I know it got a little laggy before. We're going to go as far as possible. But if it starts getting bad, please let me know. It's not terrible for you guys. And here is the gold. Yeah, you guys can go back. I like gold. <laughs> I like gold. Yeah, yeah. I like gold. Lag. Yep. <laughs> All right. Yep. Yeah, thanks, brother. Appreciate it, man. Uh, how are we doing now, guys? Tracy Lawson, hello. Angie Latondras, welcome in. Just let me know if we're back and everything's okay, guys. I just want to make sure. All good. Thank you, Erica. Yeah, I did that. Look how pretty those. Oh wow! Look how pretty those windows are. Very cool. <laughs> Just, <laughs> just amazing in here. Unreal. Unbelievable. I love it. Let them know you have a non-rider okay? Hey, thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. So that was cool. Hope you guys enjoyed that. You know, a little, it, you know, we're trying to give you as much as we can here, uh, you know, within the parameters of the rules here at Universal, because we don't want to ever, I, honestly, not on purpose, ever, you know, go against with any rules. I am a rule follower. It's just the way I am. 
Well, I'll tell you, this is actually a very good wait time for this ride today. 40 minutes, that's nothing. It really is, that's not bad. Oh, we should wait here. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, we'll wait. Okay. Let me go over here. All right, we're gonna wait right here, guys, to get another angle of the uh, dragon breathing fire, because it's just awesome. So let's just hang out here for a moment. Jim Dempsey, what's up, dude? <laughs> Jamie, I know, dude. That's what I mean, Jamie, our friends. We never, ever, like, I, don't, I just follow the rules, man. I don't want, I, I don't like to do things I know I'm not supposed to do. It's just not, I don't feel good about it. It's just not right. I mean, my hair just won't look right, you know? Go down that hill, I mean, nothing on this side, but if I hit it over here, if I get a dent in that, my hair just ain't gonna look right. Oh. <laughs> right, right, right. Am I right or am I right? Or am I right? Am I right? No, like the guy from Texas that we were talking. Oh, oh. Right, right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Matthew. I'm Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. Uh, no, I want to get the charger. Because we're at 24. Marcelo uh, Luciano, hello from Brazil. Well, that makes me so happy that you guys are enjoying this. Uh, Gabriella, Carla, and Marcelo. Oh, my pig! Well, are your pig! She lost the pig. <laughs> It's the widow piggy. Oh. Here we go. Wow, I, I, I think my eyebrows just got singed. <laughs> Man, I, the heat, the heat coming off that bad boy. When you open the oven, no. Yeah, yeah, when you open yes. the oven, when you open the oven and that, and the heat comes right at your face, that's what that was. you worry if your eyelashes go burn. Oh yeah, well luckily I have sunglasses on, so that didn't happen, but holy cow, man. That was awesome. Ah. Oh. Joe uh, Nijuyan, welcome it in, man. It was my pig doesn't have hair anymore. He has no hair, what happened? What happened? Oh, uh, uh, Billy Glenn thinks he heard a pig sizzle. <laughs> I think you're right, dude. No, 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 I want it in there so I can zip it. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah it's good. All right, sorry if uh, the stream gets a little, like, jiggly. I got a charge right now, so. Well, I didn't know if you wanted them. Just don't want nobody to be sad. Ooh, they got a show going. You want to go to the show? You want to go to Diagon Alley? Or, or uh, excuse me, not Diagon Alley. Uh, Nocturne Alley. We can do whatever you want. Hey, Foggy! What's up, Foggy? About the butterbeer. Oh, yeah, that's why That's why we're here. The butterbeer, I forgot. I totally spaced it. Let's check here the line. Yep. I like it. Uh, so, I know, I think it was Big Gilmore that had asked about the, uh, you know, the wands, the interactive wands around uh, Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And, yes, <laughs> they're, they're all over the place. Like, right here, in case you get an interactive wand... You come up to these things that are on the ground like this, okay, and it'll, it'll show you what direct, like if you had a wand, you go up and then over like that. It tells you exactly how to do it, and it'll do interactive things. Uh, one of everybody's favorite interactive spots is right here, because they make it rain. <laughs> there it is. They made it rain. So awesome. All right, so over here at the Fountain of Fair Fortune. Let's see what the line looks like. It might be insane. No, it's not too bad. 
do you do you wanna the show the show okay Queen's gonna meet us over at the show we're gonna go watch some entertainment here in this in this area CMC good morning So we'll wait to uh, Queen will come over with our butter beer, frozen butter beer, because it's a frozen butter beer kind of day. Two, three, four, two, two. 
so much for subscribing and anybody else uh, any new subscribers today really appreciate it we hope well we're glad that you're having fun enough to subscribe to the channel I know thank you so much and guys seriously if you if you like our channel you enjoy it you want us to be able to do more of this uh, and help us grow please don't forget to share out our content you know share out the stream or a vlog you like or you know let a friend know like we have a lot of people word of mouth and they let friends know and uh, and we don't want anybody to ever feel like this on the channel <laughs> it's so funny Weasley's puking pestiles look at this thing Guys, this is the frozen butterbeer. Uh, and they also have hot butterbeer when it's cold out. And then they have the regular butterbeer, which I feel like is the majority of people's least favorite, to be honest with you. Yes. Uh, but here it is. Look at that. Some delicious foam. It tastes like kind of butterscotchy, and it's delicious. Here we go. Cheers. Cross salute. Boop. Did I boob it? Boop. Did I do it? Do I do it? I want to cheers, cross salute, Slancha, to all of you guys, all of you who have subscribed to the channel uh, and been subscribed and our new friends today and our members and our mods. Thank you guys for helping us uh, create the community that we have here on the channel. Uh, can't thank you guys enough. I'm telling you, you guys are 99% of the success or failure of our channel. So uh, we are in debt to you guys. Thank you. Cheers. Wait. Mm. Oh, sorry. You gotta get some of that foam. It's so delicious. Look at Queen. She's she's delving right in. But make sure you don't drink it quick because I've done that and you get the 
the ice cream headache. So the frozen is your number one. Frozen is my number one, uh, and then right underneath it is the hot one, and it's almost like a like a butterscotch hot chocolate kind of thing. Boop. She moved it. Oh, she moved it. There we go. Yep. All right, guys, we are going to head out of Harry Potterville. I like call it Harry Potterville. Uh, and we're going to go check out some HHN merch, some Halloween Horror Nights merch. And let us know, let us know in the comments, not the chat, in the comments after. Oh, here comes a brain freeze. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I got. I gotta think about sunshine to get rid of my headache. Oh, it came. Oh my gosh. And I didn't even drink that much. Okay, now it's subsided, good. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, well I had a brain freeze and it hurt. Uh, comment on this live stream after the live stream is over. Um, hold on. Yeah, uh, and let us know if you guys want to see more Universal streams, if you guys enjoyed this today, or like, or like, if you do enjoy it, what are specific things besides going on rides? Because that's, like I said, it's not really allowed here. Uh, besides that, other things that you guys would like to see us show, you know, to show you, or to do, or to eat, or to drink, or to, you know what I mean? Because we want we want to show you guys stuff. If the stuff that you were curious about. Um, and you're like, oh, I'd like to see what that's all about so we can show you guys uh, to help you on your trip if you're planning on coming to Universal or all that good stuff. Mmm. Seriously. I feel like... I feel like every time I come to Universal, it's hard not to go and get a butterbeer. Things gonna change. Everything still remains the same. I can't do what ten people tell me to do. So I guess I'll remain the same. Yes, sitting here resting my bones. But this loneliness won't leave me alone. Mm. Thousand miles I roam just to make this dog my home. Sorry, <laughs> I had to bust out in song. Uh, one of my all-time favorite singers is Otis Redding. That man knows how to give people goosebumps the way he sings. I'm telling you. And I, I want to see a bunch of Otis Redding fans in chat. Let me know if you're a fan of Otis Redding. Because, man, uh, I think one of my favorite songs by Otis Redding, this is a great one, but I love uh, Pain in My Heart. It always gets me. It always gets me. And I did lose my chat on my phone oh, here. Yeah, well, because it got hot. Yeah. Give you that. And if you are new to the channel, yes, once in a while I do break out in song. I can't help it. <laughs> I just can't help it. Ooh, we got some. Uh, we got the construction worker uh, uh, percussion going on over here. I forget what the actual name of it is, to be honest with you. Isn't that terrible? But it is uh, a pretty light day here in the park, I gotta say. Whoop! All right, let's see what these guys are all about today.
MC here on Next Instruction Project. Yeah. Thank you, Orlando. Good yeah. night. <laughs> Woo. Peace out, Orlando. I, you know what's funny though? I always end up catching them in the end. In the end. Yeah, I don't have a chat. Perfect. Okay, now I got chat, so I can see. Oh, try a little tenderness. Yes, Eric Richardson. Kathy Walsh, hello. Off to Epcot tomorrow. Uh, hope to see you around right on. I hope you guys have a great trip. Uh, let me see. Do 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 do. Toasty Rich, you sang along with me. Nice. That's awesome. Holy. Be drum for people. What is happening? It's been a minute. Yeah, never. No, it has been a minute since we've been in Universal, and this is new. This construction wall. Uh, I don't know what is going on here. They're building, they're like rebuilding the dock or something. Uh, J-Rock, what's up, dude? Soupy? Uh, let me see, let me see, let me say. Night Guy, what's going on, buddy? Eric Song, hello? Let me see, the deep, beep, beep. Arvid Aaron, <laughs> hello, guys. Haven't seen you in a minute, either. I want to see my, my any of my Otis Redding fans, you know what I mean? Okay. Do, do. All right, I think I got that. Whoop. There. Well, yeah, we're going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, we're going to head over to the Five and Dime because we want to show you guys the uh, new HHN merchandise. We can do. Oh no no no. Oh yeah yeah. Oh look, yep, they got that closed off over there. Oh, this butter beer. This just gets better the more you drink it. And this is a place that we need to eat at. We got to go to Finnegan's. We got to go to Finnegan's. I've ne we've never eaten in Finnegan's. And I'm down with that. Let's go uh, show you guys what they have for food options before we head over to the Five and Dime. So this is what they got. Authentic Irish American food, ale, and spirits. So shamrock meat and cheese bird. Bird. Board. The chicken, oh, they got chicken wings. Okay. Irish fish and chips. Does anybody know? Are their fish and chips good here? Because that sounds delicious. Shepherd's Pie, Newcastle, Irish Chicken. I mean, they got a bunch. Bangers and Mash. Okay. Okay. I see you, Finnegan's. Looks pretty good. Mm. That's so good, huh? Da -da downtown. Okay. Uh... Uh, Stephen Hatton. Okay, fish and chips are great. Okay, all right. Sold, buddy. Sold. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you for the info. Is I, I love to hear back from people because, like, sometimes it's <laughs> you'll hear somebody say it's good, and then ninety people tell you it's bad, and it ends up being bad. So, uh, RMJ23, welcome in and good morning. 168 days till you get to Orlando. Very exciting. Everything, Greg J says everything's good there. Ooh, Reuben, dude, I love scotched eggs. Scotch eggs are so good. Right? Did you like the scotch eggs when we got those over in the Harry Potter? Peter Jackson, hello. I've just made a delicious cheese and egg pie. Oh, what time you want us over? That's always the going. That, it's always like that joke. When, when's lunchtime? When do I come over? Hey, dude, when I come over. Oh, rat, oh, rat, oh, rat. You like that? Kevin R., hello. Uh, Mike, Michael Mark Blomblom, Finnegan's your favorite place. Okay, dude. You guys got me sold, man. I think uh, I think we're going to have to do a video. We'll have to do a vlog of, our, of going into Finnegan's. Finnegan's, the, the, Irish, the Irish place. I am possible to cry. The NRA you're hitting the Pepsi hard this morning, J-Rock. 
Hey, dude, I rolled out of bed, and the first thing I said was coffee. Coffee, and I have my New England brand French vanilla coffee. You wake up like I'm on fire. I do. This is how I wake up. Boom. Coffee. Coffee. I don't, uh, yeah, you know, like the vampires wake up and they want blood. I, I'm not interested in that. I got my own blood. Thanks. Uh, but coffee. Coffee is life. No, okay, fine. We'll go over here real quick and then we'll go to HHN merch. Because I know somebody had asked about the uh, the Megatron and uh, Bumblebee. Not Bumblebee tuna, but <laughs> the Bumblebee meet and greet. And also, obviously, Optimus Prime. But here's Megatron, dude. Look at this. Megatron! So awesome. This is one of the coolest meet and greets, in my opinion. Look at this guy. Look at him. God. Who have you come to surrender? He's so scary. Smile. <laughs> Gotta zoom in a little bit. Got it. Megatron's just staring at me. <laughs> he just said no. <laughs> oh my gosh! I just, you know, hold that for a second. I just, I I just gave him a, I gave him a piss pump. He stared at me and shook his head no. He don't like me. You don't like me. That's it. I'm going back to Beetlejuice. He was nicer. I'm going back to Beetlejuice. Yeah. Beetlejuice is my homie. These cars are awesome. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you. Mel's when we when we went there we went there a couple times I gotta say unless we just had them on we went two times if we had them on an off day a couple off days uh, it wasn't that great I, I gotta be honest with you the burger was very like school lunch burger I'm not trying to knock I just want to be like I want to be honest with you guys how we felt about it um, I don't know if it was just a bad bad couple of times that we went or if that's how it always is or I don't know if they switched it like like switched the menu and made it better I don't know I feel like we have to go back one more time wow. third time's a charm it's either going to let us know if it's not good or if it is good but it's hard it's, it's hard to beat that crusty burger man with the with the cheese you know sauce on it you kidding me crusty burgers for life mm. delicious Stephen Hatton thank you so much man happy tie-dye Sunday appreciate that dude uh, yeah, and, and for our new our new friends, you know, subscribers or just people that are coming in, maybe they're not subscribed yet. Uh, every Sunday for us, it is tie dye Sunday. I wear a tie dye shirt. We it just it just happened and it just got the name and it's just what it is. It's a life of its own kind of thing. So, but we call it tie dye Sunday. <laughs> Tracy Lawson, right? Okay. Like, I was not very impressed because everybody kept going Mel's because it looks really cool. Great theming, but I guess that's where it ends. You know what I mean? Like, the, the whole main thing is to have a good have a good product. But uh, may, maybe we won't waste our money again, I guess. I don't know. Or maybe just get french fries or something. You know, like, I, I feel like it's... I feel like if you screw up french fries, you should get out of the food business. Uh-oh, uh-oh, look. She had what go. she got the she got the brain freeze. Uh, one more, one more. Yeah, I will, I will. So here, guys, we are at the five and dime, and check it out. The Halloween Horror Nights 2024 merchandise reveal, where horror lives. Mwah. Uh I don't know why you want... Oh, just take it off. Yeah, just take that off right there. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Okay, there we go. All right, and now... Okay. 
There we go. Oh, <laughs> here. Hold on, guys. One second. I'm going to try to get my chat back. It might freeze in for a second, so hold on. Right. I'm back live. I just... Oh, I think I got it back. Maybe. It's going to take a minute. But while I wait for the chat to upload... Okay. Um... I gotta say, you guys want my honest opinion? Do you get? Do you guys want my honest opinion, or do you want me to? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, 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 I can't say. I can't say that I love it. Uh, it, yeah, I. It, no, you know what it is, and it's it's funny. Disney did this also with their haunted mansion stuff, where they went punk. No, it's like this punk vibe, which I, I don't mind the punk punk vibe. I just feel like for this, it's not that great. Sorry, I'm still just trying to make sure I get chat. There we go. Okay, I think I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, <laughs> Dan Stewart lied to us. Okay, give it to me straight, Drew. Uh, and I always want it, guys. Uh, yeah, not not a huge fan. Not a huge fan. Uh, I know they gotta like mix it up and do different things. Uh, I can't say this one. Uh, it, it doesn't feel H H N to me, man. It feels just. It would be cool if it was just a you know just a design for Universal, but it's like it's a little too punk. I, I don't know. But please let me know if you guys if it if it's a a winner or a stinker. You know what I mean? Yeah, Greg J. And that's the thing. I like it is a '90-ish, which I love the '90s style. Just not for HHN, man. I, I don't know. I feel, like, I feel like this is a construction worker. You know what I mean? With that orange. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to knock. I don't want to bash on it. I know some people probably like it, and I'm not trying to offend anybody like that. But ooh, I like this hat though. I like this hat. That is, that's a nice boulder. <laughs> that's a nice boulder. I like it. I like it. What does it say? Yeah, he lives, he, he breathes. Summary. Yeah, man. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's very summary. You know? I just... Yeah. Oh, Erica Kelsey got offended. Uh-oh. Well, you know. Th things happen. <laughs> I love you, Erica. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. What? Oh, if I had patience and my fingers weren't like big sausages, I would totally do this. <laughs> I gotta be honest. No, and I, and I say that because I've actually tried these Metal Earth. They're really cool. I mean, like, look how cool that is. It's a very cool thing. I just, I don't have patience. And like I said, I guess not the coordination. I don't know. Why is that so? I, I don't know why that gets all silly like that. All right, let me see if this is clear. Is that clear? Maybe it's my eyes. I don't know. Just got Disney. Hello. Um, but yeah, I like these. It's cool. And then they got the studio tour tram. But that's more for like Hollywood. They don't, they don't have that. They, they don't have that. Hollywood. Maybe they, oh, they have it in uh, Hollywood. Universal Hollywood. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Like, and it's here. But, wow, look at this stuff. Oh. I want it. I want it. That is amazing. That is so amazing. Very cool. Oh, and I want to let you guys know, over here was where they had the uh, monster makeup that they actually shut down about a month <laughs> before uh, before the said date because um, it was a little overpriced for what it was, not going to lie. And what is that? No, over over here is Bella Lugosi. Do you know who this looks like? No, no, please. Do you know who this looks like? It's a cartoon. No, it's a real guy. Can you guys can you guys guess who oh I think God. who I think this looks like? There you go. <laughs> Wait, actually, oh my gosh. Wait, I think it has to be. It has to be from Renfield. Because he, he was he was Dracula in Renfield. In the movie Renfield. I don't know, but all I know is that looks like Nicolas Cage. <laughs> it looks like Nicolas Cage. 
regardless whether I'm right about what I just said or not. Oh, and here. Yeah, that one there. Mr. Hurley. Oh, is it? It look. It looks like. Um, what did we just say it looked like? It looks like Nicholas Cage. Did you see the statue there? That looks more like Nicholas Cage. Does it really? Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you for the info. Oh my gosh, she's right. I can already see it. <laughs> I can already see it. <laughs> it is. Yep, there he is. It's Nicolas Cage. It's Nicolas Cage. <laughs> That's hilarious. Wow. So apparently Nicolas Cage looks like Dracula. <gasps> oh, but that 50 bucks. I love that, but just not for food. Let me touch it. Let me touch. Oh, it's so soft. It's so the, the one we have. Yeah, the one we have is better. <laughs> oh man, I'm telling you though. <sighs> Fifty bucks for a blanket's tough. How do you like that? Not good for Forty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and just so you guys know, you actually come out of the born identity, uh, born stuntacular. Uh, stunt show over there. You, you come through the store over here and you'll notice that because you'll be shopping in here and nobody will be in here and then there's like 700 people come out. And you can hear your oh my God. Yeah. That's what they wear, like. Team Cargo. Yeah, yeah, Team Cargo. It's all about Team Cargo shorts. And that's actually not big. 40 bucks. Come on, guys. 40 bucks for your cargo shorts, dude. You can, you can put so much in there. You can put so much. What's your freight? Remember that guy? The comedian? Oh, when he was talking... There's a comedian, I forget his name, but he was on the Yogi Bear movie. Oh, and, and, he, and he looked at this guy and was like, he's like, oh, yeah, you, you got cargo shorts. And the guy's like, yeah. He's like, so you like cargo shorts? And the guy's like, yeah. And then he's like, so, so what are you carrying? What's your freight? <laughs> it's hilarious. I'll have to find that clip and share it with you guys because it just, it cracked me up. Holy cow. What? Check oh, this out, guys. Mardi Gras merchandise, seventy percent off. So this is sixteen. I'm not gonna try to do math, but it's a lot off from sixteen. Yeah. That's pretty good. Ooh, that's a nice mug. Good three so finger. No, I know. I'm is not gonna this, buy it. But Mardi Gras, right? Oh, that's Mardi Gras. Yeah. So what are we talking about? Thirty three bucks minus seventy. Holy cow! That's like ten bucks, eleven bucks, something like that. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> and they got a jacket. For Quithmouth. For Quithmouth. I want these to be 70 bucks. Yeah, I know. Well, oh yeah, no, that's not, that's not Mardi Gras. That ain't Mardi Gras. Oh, there you go. Look, you get that fan. Scare everybody in the park. <laughs> Hey, Joe Hollywood, what's up? He said, Drew, that stand-up clip randomly popped up on my Instagram like three minutes ago. Otherwise, I'd have no idea what you were talking about. No way, dude, that's funny. That is funny. What pen? Oh, my God, dude, just scared me. I thought that's what we were doing. I thought I was following protocol. Follow. <laughs> what's your freight? <laughs> that is just the... That is the funniest question to a guy wearing cargo shorts. And I'm going to steal that. I'm going to steal it. I'm not claiming that I came up with it, but I'm going to use it from now on. When I see a guy with cargo shorts, I'm going to say, hey, man, nice cargo shorts. What's your freight? <laughs> oh, and I want to let you guys know, we're going to walk in here real quick. Over here at Schwab's Pharmacy, Pharmacy, Pharmacy they actually sell Dole Whip. No joke. They sold like sell like their version of Dole Whip. Let's go in here real quick. I want to see what the prices are. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, Dole Whip sorbet. If you get a cone, it's four ninety nine. A cup is four forty nine. That's not bad. That's not bad. They also have like hand scooped ice cream sundays. Uh, but you know what? Next time, I think we're gonna come in here. Remind me so we can get a Dole Whip. Just so we can show you guys and also let you know how it is. Like, because I'd love to just compare it because over in Disney, you know, they got their Dole Whips. It's actually, it's like five bucks for a Dole Whip cone. That's not bad at all. Oomph, enter, oomph, enter. 
Oh, Keith Abbott, did you have the Dole Whip or did you just get ice cream? Zoinks. <laughs> Rob? Buddy, I'm all about cargo shorts. We got, we got, there was a topic that we talked about uh, a couple of years ago. I, I'm team cargo shorts. I love them. And uh, Queen, just, uh, just funny, like being funny, just likes to bust me about them. But I always laugh because whenever we go somewhere, the park or whatever, especially when the kids are with us, guess who's the one that's got to hold everything in his cargo shorts? And that's why the question, what's your freight, is so applicable. <laughs> you know, like... So, team cargo shorts, buddy. I'm with you. I'm with you, man. Well, we could. We can. I said we have two hours here. Like, we, in theory, if we don't. I think I got a Dole Whip. I know we got ice cream cones. Okay. Right on. Hey, e, uh, Efran uh, Quinones. <laughs> Team Drew, right on. Right on, man. Boop. Oh, Bridget Jones Diary. Bridget Jones Diary that we just watched the other day. Before we end this, because it is that time, unfortunately. How do you guys feel about the movie Bridget Jones' Diary? I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. She loves it, and I think she turned me on to it. Where she was like, hey, check this out. And I watch it, and it is so good. It is such a great movie. I I love rom coms. I, I love that romance, and you know, but it's funny, but it's really light and just enjoyable. And I always feel good at the end, like after watching one of those movies. But let me know if you got you never. Erica Kelsey, you have Erica homework. Kelsey. Oh my God! Get on you your it. TV after the stream because and I watch that. Insane. Of humor, so you yeah. will love them. But it's just, it's just, it's so well done. It's so well done. Um, never seen it. Uh, that's an old one. Yeah, yeah Brad, it is. Never one. seen it. Oh my gosh, guys. I think. That Donna Scott CH, love it. Johnny, you're right. Don't forget to boop the like, guys. Yeah, don't forget to boop the like, guys, and hit that subscribe and all that good stuff. Uh, okay, well, seriously, by next stream, I want you all to oh watch Bridget Jones' God. Diary because we're going to have a conversation about it. We love it. It's a great movie. It's really, it's fun. You know, it, it has, it has a lot of good stuff in it. But um, it's romantic. Romantic. Uh, but I want to thank you guys for joining us today. Thank you as always for all your support, guys. Uh, thank you to our members, uh, new members as well, new subscribers, all the mods, and all you beautiful people that keep our channel exactly how we want it. Um, you know, family friendly, positive, uplifting, a place for people to come in and just enjoy themselves, man. Get all that drama out of the way, all the worry out of the way, and just come in, have a good, clean, fun time. Um, so guys, we've been trying to have vlogs up on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We're gonna try that yes. again this week. Uh, we're gonna premiere them, because uh, just like this we can chat, but it's gonna be previously recorded, uh, you know, material, obviously. Uh, but please, beg you. Because you'll love them. I'm telling you, you're going to have fun with them. Check out some of our vlogs. We have a new one out. What was our last one? Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom. A stormy day at Animal Kingdom. Uh, you can go check out or any of the other videos. Check out the Beetlejuice 2 filming location video that we have. That's really good. Because I love Beetlejuice. But, uh, but yeah, it just helps us out so much, guys. Don't forget to boop the like here. Hit the subscribe. Leave a comment after to let us know if there's anything in Universal that you guys would like yeah. us to cover next live stream or, or you know or any blog idea that you have. or any blog idea uh, you know having having too many is good so alright guys we love you please take care of yourselves take care of all your loved ones be good to each other out there and until we see you next time remember there's only one way to live in the moment guys in the moment. thank you so much thank you thank bye you guys I'll leave the link for our last video check it out guys there it is link for the last video hey, and guys, make sure you just have a groovy kind of day.